we shall now take a look at how do you access individual members of a structure when you have declared a pointer to a structure in the main function itself. This is another example of showing you how you go about using the arrow operator. So I have defined a structure whose name is somebody, name 50 width, integer age and weight is float. So I am trying to capture the personal details of an individual person that is the name, age and weight. So what I am doing here now is let me put this type def. So the advantage of putting type def is I can use a sample in place of struct somebody. So I have used sample here. Let me make S a capital so it's easily standable, visible. So I say sample. Now some pointer is of the data type sample that means it can hold the address of a structure of this type. Some person is a structure variable of this particular type. That's why on the next line I say some pointer is assigned the address of some person. Then what I can do is I can ask the user to enter different items. Enter the name. All right. I'll read the name first. Okay. Then to read the name, just see how I use the arrow operator. I just need to say percentage yes. I need to say some PTR arrow name. So look how convenient the arrow operator is. It prevents us from using the star dot and all that combination. So if you have a pointer to a structure, preferably use this or in fact you only use this so that it makes the program easy to understand. Now what I can do is trying to be a little lazy or smart depending on how you look at it. Let's do a lot of cut and paste. So we just have to replace things. Enter the name. Then next I can say enter the age. Then I can change this to enter the weight. All right. And then what I have to do here is I just have to say some pointer age. Here I have to change it to some pointer weight. But the important thing is since they are simple integers, not strings, I'll have to use the address operator. So the address operator is to be used when you have an int, char, float, double, long, any kind of data. Except when it's an array of characters, you do not have to use the address because the name of an array of characters itself is an address. Now, once you enter all these data, let us try to show you how you can print this particular thing. So we are going to say printing name, all right, age, and then you can say weight, all right. To print this is really simple. All that I have to do is I have to again use the arrow operator and the appropriate conversion specifiers. Now I had forgotten here age should be percentage D. This should be percentage F. Otherwise you're going to have problems. So when you're doing copy and paste, just be careful that you do corrections after the copy and paste. Otherwise you will have a tough time debugging if you are careless in copying and pasting. So this is percentage D and this is percentage F. All right, so I'll hit a slash in here and then what I can do is I can just copy some of this to make my life a bit easy. So this is some pointer arrow name. Then I don't need the address. I'm printing the age. So again, this is going to be some pointer arrow age. And then this is going to be some pointer arrow weight. So if you do this particular thing, you're going to be sure that it should look right. So let me just run through what I'm trying to do so that you understand it when I'm going to run the piece of code. I have defined a struct somebody and using the type def, I have created a shortcut. So what I can do is instead of typing struct somebody everywhere, I can just say sample. So sample declares some person which has this particular structure as a variable. Some pointer is a pointer to this type of a structure. So some pointer contains the address of some person. I'm asking the user to enter the name, age and weight. The important thing about this program is how we are using the arrow operator where you're using a pointer to a structure. It makes our life much easy and very program clean to understand. So once I read the data, I'm simply going to print the data using the arrow operator. So far so good, but the proof is only when the code runs. First thing we need to compile the code and hope it compiles. All right. So let's try compiling it. Okay, lucky.
So enter the name. Let's say we enter Arjun again, our friend. Then what is the age? Let's say Arjun's age is 12. Then what is his weight? Let's say his weight is 40 kgs. All right. Now it should print Arjun 12 and 40 on the same line. So here if you see it's printed Arjun 12 and 40 on the same line. So this should have given you enough confidence to use a pointer to a structure type of data and how to use the arrow operator to make your life quite easy. So just run through this program, try to look into different things, just see how the arrow operator is used and how the arrow operator simplifies things. Otherwise, without the arrow operator, you have to use the star, then you have to put this in bracket, then this has to be a dot and then has to be some variable name. So this makes it really complicated to remember and understand, whereas this arrow operator simplifies our life by a great deal.